Hi, this is Caroline. Welcome to my channel. So you've probably heard that slim line cards are all the, the rage, the trending. They're everywhere on all the scrapbooking and paper crafting sites and mostly sold out for all the die cutting. Well, today I'm going to show you just the basic measurements of these cards that you can make yourself so that you have the base card that all the decorating and embellishments and all that other stuff comes later. But first you need the base card. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do this. So thanks for joining me and thanks for sharing. Okay, so I have printed out all the numbers you need to know for these slim line cards, the base card, eight and a half by seven. And first I went to Hobby Lobby and picked up at 50% off, of course, I bought two of them, are the are these Paper Studio Slimline card envelopes. And they're, you get 25 in a pack, so that should be plenty for lots of Slimline cards. It has a side fold rounded opening, which I'm okay with that. It actually makes it look really nice. So I'm real happy with that. So I'm using um, some 110 pound card stock that I had also from Hobby Lobby. It works very well. And I have marked the correct measurements on this piece, which is eight and a half, which that's easy. And then you just cut off four inches from that 11 inch side. And that's not something we do automatically. 11 minus 4 is 7, but that's the way it is. And then I just scored in the center at 3 and a half inches. So that's what we're going to do. And this fits very easily into that envelope. If it's not bulky, it's just regular postage. And then you have also a nice usable scrap piece of paper from that end cut. But all you need is your paper cutter and also a scoring tool because that just makes it easier. I'm going to use this heavy duty card stock just so it shows up better and it makes a really nice base card. And you just put it in your paper cutter at the four inch mark. Remember you're cutting four inches off. Line it up, square it up, and there you go. That is our card base. Okay, so now we're just going to score it. If you like this, please subscribe, and you'll see more from me. Thanks. So I've gone ahead and marked my score palette three and a half inches. You don't do it long ways. You measure up the seven inch side where you line up the seven inch side. See that's eight and a half, but we want to score at the three and a half mark of the seven inches. Just give it a fold, and there you have it. I'm just going to get an envelope out of the pack. There it is. It slips in very easily. You know, even if I put a couple layers, not too bulky, and seal it up. And now I'm trending too. And so will you be. So 
So here again, eight and a half by seven. Score at three and a half inches. Thank you. See you next time.